What's up everybody, Dante Crisis, down here with Kamiko. So, I needed a game to play between Blue Shift and the next Let's Play, because Blue Shift ended a lot sooner than I thought it would. And a friend of, a, uh, a viewer who's on my Discord recommended Kamiko. It's a short game, and it's good looking, and it's really fun. And I'm down here because I didn't want it blocking all of that up there, as you can tell. Problem is, some, I'm going to have to read the subtitles because sometimes it will block some subtitles. Abrupt though, th though this may be, thou art summoned now to the realm of the dead. Oh, that's fucking wonderful. Thou should know that the gate connecting that, uh, fine transit world and, oh, thine transit world and our realm of the dead must be uh, silted by demons. God, I hate this. I hate saying these words. If this goes on, the fine tran the fine transit world will become ruled by the by said demons, and humans will be led down the path of destruction. Ah, we don't need demons for that. Before you was the Imperial Regalia, the blade of Kasaniga. Kasanigi, whatever. Uh, this weapon has been granted to Dao because amongst the Shrine Maidens you hold a special power. Yeah, I bet you say that to the other Maidens. I guarantee you say that. Because there's two other characters as you can see we can play as. But I don't think you need to play through them all. Uh, hear my words, O child of the Transit Realm. Become the Kamiko who will vanquish the demons and release the seal on the gate between worlds. Alright, I can do that. Out of my way. Right, so it's essentially a top-down beat 'em, uh, uh, hack and slash. Cause I I say hack and slash because I'm hacking and slashing motherfuckers. And you can see that I'm building up a combo. The higher the combo, the more I the more of these uh, orbs I get, and those grant me special. That grants me. They're used to unlock. Sorry. Damn it. Certain ability, not abilities, chests and areas. But also allows me to do this. For the. F oh shit, okay, I ran out of them. Oh, in my, in my haste to show you guys, I, I messed up. Any more enemies? Come on. But the problem is, the game doesn't outright tell you that you press and hold. At least that, not, not from what I've seen. But this whole, this whole area is essentially a tutorial area. And each objective in each world, which was, th which there is four worlds, you need to unlock four shrines. Or pu purify them, technically, because it looks like we're purifying them. And that'll lead us to a boss at the end of every single level. And there's four levels overall, but there's five bosses because you get a third boss. You get a, a, a second boss after defeating the last world's boss. Right. Now, I need this because this is another thing in this game. If you carry something, you cannot drop it. If you drop it or get hit, which will cause you to drop it, it will disappear and you need to go and get it again. Luckily, you don't need to buy for the chest again. That's the lucky part, otherwise that would just be really annoying. Alright, as far as all of it goes, I need to come here because this has a blue orb. Now, the blue orbs, or the orbs in general, go on two pedestals. And... They unlock the way to essentially the last shrine in the level. You fuck it, kind of like that. You see what I mean? Damn it! Bloody hell, I was facing the wrong way then. All right, luckily there's a life there. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not playing exactly that well right now, which is unfortunate for me because I'm just coming off like an idiot. All right, there you go. Uh, bushes and pots can hold those red diamonds you can see, which give me health. Like that. No, you don't. What the hell are you trying to do? Grab that. 
second shrine should be around here. And it is... Right there. Second shrine. And you see that up there? That's... Te I, it's not really a secret because they're easy to find. But I guess they're secrets. Alright, that's the second shrine. So yeah, I will... I'll split this these videos up. They're going to be short and sweet videos. I'll be splitting them into worlds. Worlds and bosses. Which means they're probably going to come under 10 minutes. Or at least this one should do. And there we go. We're going to upgrade for our magic. We can now hold 25 more. Yeah, I think it's 25 more. Right, right into that. Come on, there we go. Thank you very much. But yeah, this is essentially the big jank. Damn it. Tutorial level. Move that over there. Hit that, and it gives us a bridge to that, which is the second orb. Grab that. Now, each chest, each chest and some doors will require you to pay a toll. Oh, fuck's sake, I was facing the wrong way. Let me deal with these things first. That's now twice I've dropped some. How terrible. There you go. Now it's that doorway open. And above you can see my time right now, but you're, it's going to become my overall time. Out of my way. Watch these spikes. God damn it. Get that uh, heart there. But I, I want to say heart. I really do. But it, it, it's not. Okay, there's the third. Now we've got one more, and that's why I required the three orbs. So I could get through. Watch the spikes. Nope, nada. Jesus Christ, watch out. Alright. Grab, got them all. Yeah, dudes with projectiles can be slightly annoying, especially when you don't have a projectile. That's not this character, that's a different character. Ow. You're all getting in my way, and that's annoying. And there we go, that's the last shrine. Purified. And that will unlock a portal to the boss. I am aware. Thing is, I actually kind of want to max out my magic for the boss. The boss is as simple as hell. Like, really simple. Just sometimes your timing can be off. Here we go. That took me five minutes, which is awful. But before each boss, you get your, that levels. There you go. Upgrade to. Magic, and then the second to life. I think I missed a life one back there. I'm not sure. And here's our boss. They're essentially puzzle bosses. Some, re those one of them inquires a lot of endurance. It's also got really cool music. Like the boss music is great. There you go. And this is how you set him up to fail. Damn it. Wow, did I really just fuck up twice there? There you go. And now because we hit those switches. There we go, that's him. And you gotta do that. It's got the rule of threes in this game. You gotta do that two more times. Now hopefully these mushrooms don't get in my goddamn way now. And there you go. See what I mean? I just messed up because the mushroom got in my goddamn way. I see you. Now with this one, just chill here. He can't get you up here. Dead. 
damn it. That's really bad. Like, that's really bad. I messed up really bad then. Thanks for appearing in front of me. But that's the uh, that's the first world and the first world boss done. I got caught up then because I was out of position for when he started stomping on the last phase. There you go. I don't know why, but I kind of wish that the pixel in personally, I kind of wish that the pixel art was kind of like what it is right there. Like, because honestly, it looks it looks 16 bit, and I like I I'm a person who prefers 16 bit um art over 8 bit art a lot of the times. I don't know.